Hello and welcome back to this part 11 of our Fresh Dwellers 2024 walkthrough. After our last adventure, I've fast traveled back to our camp that's located here next to Anchor Farms. Kind of lightened the load by dropping off my our junk in our stash box. Now let's run over and talk to Daniel and let him know that we took care of those raiders. They've been putting the squeeze on them. And let's see what kind of response we get from him. As always, I do appreciate all of you that have been following along. If you could, take a moment to like this video. And if you're enjoying content and are not already subscribed, please do subscribe. If you are subscribed, did you see the anchor out front? Yes. How do you think it got here? <clears throat> please take a moment to consider supporting the channel on another level by joining. So here's old Daniel. Heard you killed Roper. Here, you deserve it. But that's all you're getting. Now, unless you've got something urgent. So he gave us a few things. That's nice. <laughs> what are you? Hmm. You found the tape. Fine. I did it. And I'd do it again. Because Maggie was going to get us all killed. She wanted us to stand up to those thugs, to take them on all by ourselves. There are four of us. You know how many times we're outnumbered by that gang? Three to one? Four to one? I have a daughter, and she's alive now because we all were willing to make a deal. Maggie was going to throw that away because she didn't like being pushed around. It was bound to happen sooner or later. All right. Well, we're pretty much done with him now. Bye. And we can also share the news. With Duchess back here at the Wayward. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll fast travel here to the Wayward. Spend the whole three caps to do that. If you want to just save a buck or two, I guess you could go to 76 for free and then spin the cap to the wayward, but I think we're all right. And here we are. Now, before we jump in, let's go ahead and make sure. <coughs> See, we're well fed, well hydrated, but not fully fed. We are still well rested, which gives us XP bonus. But let's go ahead and use some of our newfound cranberries. Let's see, where are they? There we go. And let's see, do we have some soup? Brain, there we go. We've got some brain fungus soup. What other soups have we got? Oh, we could drink a Nuka Cola. And I'm gonna sell a lot of those foods. I guess we could have made some more. Let's go ahead and you know, looks like we could have done some cooking. We got a cat meat steak. Well, we'll save that. And now let's go in and get our reward. You're back. You managed to get those punks out of our hair yet? Oh, yeah. Well, that's good to hear. Though, judging by that look in your eye, 
I have exactly zero follow-up questions on the method of your negotiations. But you did good. Shows maybe you could be trusted. Maybe. Maybe. But there's still the issue of my missing muscle. They went out chasing some unsavory characters. Never came back. They're two of the tougher cookies I've met in my day. So them being gone this long means something happened. You track them down? Maybe I remember a thing or two about this crane fella. Well, missing person number one's named Polly. Got a transmitter in her. You could track her with your little radio there. Missing person number two goes by Saul. Those two are closer than toes and bad stilettos. So if you find one, the other's likely close by. Find them for me, and I'll pay you for the privilege of getting to yell at them in person. Not the foggiest, but that's where the transmitter comes in. Tune to her station and it should get you going in the right direction. All right. They're called the Scorched. They're an unpleasant bunch in character and appearance. They've got raw skin with crystals sticking out of them. And they're still real handy when it comes to firearms and bludgeons. So you'll want to be careful around them. That's for damn sure. All right, we'll find your people. Appreciate it. Polly's tracking frequency is 99.7. The once proud home of Appalachia's smooth jazz. I figured someone should get some use out of it. Find out what happened to him. If I need to find new people, I'd like to at least ensure I tried to do right by the old ones. All right, and we will complete the Hunter for Hire quest. Now we start the new strength in numbers. All right. So let's go ahead and do a little trading. Just lighten the load. Can sell some of these grenades. Sell off all this alcohol. All this pre-war food. What is the high? Improves energy weapon damage. Hmm. What's the 50% carry weight? But causes a hangover. <laughs> well, I guess in the uh, could come in handy in a pinch. Let's see, don't need the vodka. Don't need the whiskey. We'll keep the wine as a placeholder. 
There we go. How about some aid? Let's see if we need to sell any of this. Because this stuff will weigh you down if you're not careful. The day tripper. We could sell that for a little bit of money. This healing salve. There's no point in using it when we have stim packs. Let's see, we've got some medics, some psycho, psycho buff, which is actually one of my favorites. Radix. I'm going to sell two of them. I'm gonna sell all this diluted. If I'm using Radix, I want the 100%. Let's see, we've got seven Rataways and two Diluteds. I almost am never so radiated that I need to use full strength Rataway. I'm going to go ahead and sell the Stealth Boy. Because those things weigh. And who wants a Diluted Stim Pack? Not I. So, looks like we've shed quite a bit of weight here. Uh, it doesn't look like she's selling any bobby pins, which is unfortunate for me. Is it? And we'll not buy any there from her. Oh, while we're here, let's not forget to grab the pepperoni roll. And back out we go. Okay, also now that we're back here, let's go ahead and move our camp back. And I do want to, let's see, I think we had it about right here before. And want to kind of cover our new gadget that we just picked up, which is the shelter. So, let's see, we can move our camp. Let's see. I don't think it's going to let us. We have to be careful because of the overseer's camp is right over here. So we just have to get far enough away from the overseer's camp and from the wayward. wanted to be oh here we go we can go right here cost us eight whole dollars let's go into our build mode and blueprints I have trouble getting the camp to work with blueprints as far as storing your camp, but theoretically you can store your camp in the blueprints and then when you So here we have I'm going to put the sign as close to the road as we can. And let's go, we can go all the way to the end. It will give us shelters. We now have, so I'm going to just put this right here. And now that we have the shelter, give you an idea what to do, we can go down here. And it's pretty big. What I usually like to do is kind of put all my crafting benches here in this first room. And then kind of put a bedroom back here in the back. I can usually segment this off into a couple of rooms. Where I have a cooking area. A bedroom in the back. And then 
uh, maybe a little seating area library over here. But for now, return to the surface. And we'll build up our camp a little bit. So this is what, what I like to do. Here, let's go ahead and Oh, not third person. Build my camp. Come on. Oh, maybe I'm outside the radius. Here we go. All right. Let's go to floors. And... going to build a floor like this and I'm going to go to the stairs I was hoping I could let's try it from this angle Then we'll go back to floors. And I like to do that. See if I can get that to snap in. There we go. Now let's go back to our stored and put our companion down here at the bottom. Our ally. Let's put our bed up here. stash box next to our bed. I'm going to put this generator here. can put our cook station here. And it, it would happen. Let's see if we can go to if you go to security. Let me see if I missed. Here we go, turrets and traps. So, for security purposes, let's put a couple of turrets in place. to run a wire let's see where down to our crane sign let's go back into the build mode so when you highlight this you'll see you have the attached wire Here we go. Attach. And then I like to 
underneath here to try and plant a little garden. So let's run back over here. Borrow some corn. Oh, there we go. Four. I like to plant my crops in fours. There, now that we've run some power to the uh, crane sign, it'll be a little easier to spot at night. Lean back and take a deep breath. Let's see, food. Be okay. First, let's plant some corn. See if we can, and we can plant a carrot. And we found a gourd. Thank you, because. Gourds plus cranberries are going to equal cranberry relish, which is even better than cranberry cobbler. Let's see, I'm not going to plant a melon. Let's see, we have a chance to plant some razor grain. Let's plant this here. All right. Off to a great start. Another little thing I like to do is let's put up a little fence around our garden. And that's going to be under security, I believe. Defenses. Here we go. have the hardest time you getting these to snap one day i'm going to write a song that does that There we go. All right. Sort of little building 101. So as a character, let's see where we're at as far as our effects. We've got 12 more minutes of well rested. Let's go ahead and get that taken care of.
I should go on a walk. You know what they say. Observe nature and the songs will flow. And let's cook up a little something something. Favorite, the brain fungus soup, some carrot soup. So we inch ever closer to it <clears throat> um, off camera right before uh, started filming I also wanted to point out that now that we're level 10 you have the ability to craft level 10 armor and weapons so I did go ahead and upgrade my leather arms and legs to level 10 gives us a little better protection and then we're gonna stick with this one star chest raider chest piece right now so next thing strength and numbers we're gonna wanna look tuned to the radio station so let's go to the radio here's our transmitter signal Here, let's turn that off real quick. Um, see, we can do a little eating and drinking. Let's go ahead and get our brain fungus soup, our carrot soup, our corn soup. And that makes us good. Now, if we check our map. Oh, I should have left the transmission. The radio here I guess I'll show you it's okay let's go back to the radio so if you look it's gonna show you here and it's actually the golly mine is where we're going to be headed but for now I'm gonna turn that off Got it. Let's see if we can kick her off real quick. Be upset anymore. Yeah, Let yeah. It all go. You know, it's easy to forget, but we're the lucky ones. That's so many great. people didn't make it. So let's appreciate the little things. Yeah, how about take a walk? Aren't you talking about taking a walk earlier? There you go. Thank you. We'll get tuned up and then we'll get down the road. As crazy as it is here, it's better than where I've been. Now our goal in this video, if we can get to level 11, will be to grab the gunsmith perk. And that's gonna let us upgrade our weapons to tier one. So, I do encourage you as soon as you get to level 11 to grab that gunsmith part. So, we'll leave the wayward and head north. Let's see, we've still got our trusty shotgun. And our 45 revolver. Now, up to the left here after the wayward. There's a little, if you follow the stream, there's a little going to be a little camp area up there.
little fish camp. Sometimes you can get some interactions here. Let's see what we get. Oh, a skeleton with a beer hat. Always enjoy the... Let's sprint across real quick. And see what we find here at this camp. Like I said, sometimes there will be people here to interact with. Sometimes there are actually um, raiders here that you'll need to fight with. And gather some wood scraps. These tents. Let's see. Well, don't need either of those things. So, just wanted to make you aware of this location that's here. We don't get any interactions today. Unfortunate. Now off to the left, and I'm not hearing anything. There's usually some kind of fracas going on over here. See if we can. There's usually a battle going on. I don't hear anything at the moment. Nobody hiding out in here. Just a couple of dead settlers, but we'll take their scrap little iguana on a stick. Thank you very much. Ooh, military ammo bag. That's great because... Uh, I'll show you in a minute what that breaks down to. Yes, usually there's a battle going on here as we get to Slocum Joe's. Kind of surprised nothing's going on. There's usually some settlers up here on the roof. And they're fighting ghouls or scorched. It's quiet at the moment. But let's go up there. There are some goodies up on the roof. A duffel bag with some much needed ammo. There's, yes, another ammo, more ammo, fantastic, we'll take that gas canister, and is that a, oh, a bobby pin box, three bobby pins, well, for those of you that follow along, <laughs> probably know that I'll wind up using those by the end of this video, here we have a water pump, should we need some more water? A notice for the wayward. Now, there is a trap in here that I seem to spring just about every time. Oh, well. Anyways, we have a temp, uh, tinkerer's workbench to where we can scrap. We'll take that and scrap it. have this little note here. I'll take the pencil. Read Justin's note. Handling those country roads. All right, Justin Cole. Country roads take me home. Nothing in the cabinet. Again, I'm not sure what happened. Looks like some other players maybe come through earlier. Let's go ahead and 
can scrap this 10 mil. Scrap all our junk. And off we go. So from Slocum Joe's. Make sure we don't miss any goodies. Oh, I'll take that. We'll get some lead for that. Ooh, some caps. Leave the paint can. Check the dumpster. Oh, duct tape. Fantastic. So yes, thoroughly explore <laughs> the area around Slocum Joe's. Again, there's usually some kind of gunfight going on here, which is another great source of weapons and mods. Oh, there's a fire cap. We could take that for some fire cap soup. But from here, let's run up here to the railroad tracks. And we'll follow the tracks along to Golly Mine. Here's a dead scorched. No scratch for us. Squirrel. Make some squirrel on a stick. Shotgun him. <laughs> Now there will be numerous scorch down here for us to deal with. And is that a squirrel or a mole? Okay, that's a squirrel. We'll let it go. Ah. Uh, was he trying to get that squirrel? Usually a few roaming around here on the outside. I see one that we just missed through there. He's wandering around upstairs. And we get this location bonus. There's some goodies in this train car. Not the goodies we would have wished, I think. But it is what it is. Oh, time to shotgun. Oh, there's that guy up there. See if we can get a headshot on him. Come on. There we go. More dead scorched. Take those goodies. Take this lantern for the oil. Good stuff. There is a workbench up here on the top. Ooh, 
gold watch, lead scrap. That's fantastic. Oh, did I? Thought I got something else there. What's going on here? Oh. Ah, eh, we don't need a paint can. All right, more shotguns. That's fantastic. Before we go upstairs, let's thoroughly loot around here. And I'm going to take these lanterns for the oil. Some coolant. I'm going to leave that steel worker's hat. It's not necessary. Another dead scorched here. Might get some pretty good shotgun mods after all. All right. There's a little toolbox here. Got here on this balcony. Don't need any of that. What do you got for us? More good stuff. Then across here is our workbench. Oh, bobby pins. Man, this has been my lucky day. Just for that, I'm going to take everything. I'm going to take the screwdriver for the wood. Uh, these adjustables for the gear. Bag of fertilizer. And time to scrap. Let's scrap all our junk. Might see if we can't upgrade at some point. All right. drinking area here. These all appear to be empty bottles. Never found glass to be particularly rare commodity. So we can go up here and I do want to kind of show off this little area without falling and killing myself, I hope. Any of you are fans of uh, that movie Employee of the Month? Find we have another little drinking couch area here. And then as we go, you see another little explosive box. You have to kind of time your jump. And then you see we have this little area here where we get another hunting rifle. So I guess at some point there was some soldier there. And kind of time this. We can go out to the edge and see if we can't jump back. There we go. All right. We 
got a little hunting rifle we can scrap. See if we get a mod out of that. And let's see if we can do a little modifying. Let's see if we've All we have is standard receiver. Let's see if we can modify that up a little bit. Well, we have a hair trigger receiver. Which increases reload speed. Yep, we definitely want that. We've got true long barrel, probably going to be our best bet there. Really wish we could have found full stock. All right. Now, what about our? Okay, we have it calibrated. Let's go ahead and have standard long barrel, which is probably going to be our best bet. Standard grip is fine. Standard magazine. Standard sights. All right, I think we're in pretty good shape here. Oh, a revolver rifle. I think we're good. So let's go investigate into the mine. We can jump down here. Ah! And head into the mine. We can see lots of ash piles. And more dead scorched. Pass on that dish rag. So we can see the remains of a battle that was going on there. Over here, kind of got a shower bathroom area. Never pass up a stall, could be some good stuff. And as promised, here we go. Somebody cooking, making some stew in the toilet. Take all of this. Mirrors are broke. No drugs in the sink. Around over here, let's see. We've got some. Take that soap. We've got plenty of steel scrap. storage area here with some tools. Good deal. And, alright, more adhesive. And then here's the showers themselves. Nothing of note here. Then we can go up these stairs. And there's a little area here. We get a note. There we go. Carl, you're in charge. Looks like Greg has left you in charge. Important note, if you need to get in the supply cage, the code is on the bulletin board. Double check everything before you close up. Oh, let's take that. Along with any of the other things we find here. I don't need all right, let's see. Good thing we picked up some extra bobby pins. And that's why. A little further. 
There we go. It's worth a cap. I'm going to take that. There's some rat poison down here. I'm going to take that because it has lead in it. Take that pencil. I'm going to take this torch. Can also has lead. All right. Let's go ahead and do some other looting and then we will come back for that safe. Don't need a liquor bottle. Nothing in the cabinet worth. We'll take that. All right, let's. Oh. Maybe a little more? No. Back the other way. So for those counting... Oh, wow. Oh, if you're playing along and you get the Mothman Equinox event, I encourage you to join in. Make sure there's lots of people, but the rewards are well worth it. Uh, now let's remember to go back and equip our rifleman perk. And we'll go further into the mines. There will be some more scorched up ahead. Anybody else? We can see more scorched corpses. I thought it was going to let us. Here's some coal. Anybody else? Oh. oh. Oh, hey, you. And if we go over here, here's the little explosives area. There's lots of good scrap in here. Oh, must have been listening. Let's go ahead and play this lighter up. Okay, gang, the boss wanted me to leave you some instructions, since you apparently can't run this mine without me holding your hands. We're going to light this place up today. The holes are drilled, so just get the dynamite packed in and wired up. Make sure everyone's a safe distance this time. Tommy, you do not touch the plungers. Got it? You're the reason we're down two guys this month. Carl, you're in charge. Don't 
fuck this up. Oh, was it really necessary to drop a f bomb there, Greg? I see another. I'll take that for the aluminum. And let's venture a little further down the... Should be able to get him pretty easy. One shot him. Thank you very much. Oh, and we have leveled up. And as promised, see if they're gonna level let us level up in peace we're gonna put a point in intelligence and get the gunsmith card and immediately equip that Hey, you. What are you doing? All right, let's grab this brain fungus. Pass on. Oh, duct tape. Fantastic. What we got here? Some pre war money. Guess they were betting on this chess game. I don't know. Oh, a footlocker for us to unlock. Almost on the first try. Ah. I'll leave that steel scrap. Let's see, you appear to be a bit parched. I think now is the time for. Let's see. Oh, all our soups seem to have run out. Well, let's get back on the soups. Do I have another brain fungus soup left? Oh, some grilled radish dag. We only have the one. Here, the stingwing fillet will give us two strength. That might help us with the... Yep, that's going to help us with the carry weight. Let's see if we have a little water to top off or well, we've got some pumpkin soup. I was gonna see if we had any purified water. Got a Nuka Cola. There we go, we got plenty of purified water. There's some more fungus. I think there's some more ore back there to mine if you really just want to. And down here at the end. Hey! Uh, over here! Don't shoot! Alright.
few more scorched corpses. A gas canister. A whiskey bottle. Ah, some more brain fungus. And here we have Saul. One of our two missing. Hey, 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 hey. Tell me you got a stim pack. I'm hurting here. Yeah, I got a stim pack. Or I could tell you get your own damn drugs, you freeloader. But let's go ahead and help out. Oh, thank God. Thank you. Good to know there's still some heart out there. So, uh, you the cavalry then? That just send you to save our tails? Yes, she did. <laughs> Much as I appreciate it, I'm not the one who needs helping right now. See, these, uh, scorched things have been harrying the bar. Me and my bot sis Polly got the bright idea to track down their nest and clear them out. But a couple of them got the drop on us before Polly chased them off deeper into the mine. I heard some fighting, but then uh, nothing. I think she's hurt. Look, you've got to find Polly. I can't be the reason she... Look, just find her. Please. All right, I'll find your friend. But I've got some other things to take care of first. Like upgrading my weapons. I, I understand. Just, you're going to help us, right? Yes, right. But for now... We're going to run back and do some scrapping. And some upgrading. Because this next area where we go to help Polly is absolutely crawling with scorched. And we're going to need these better weapons. to this weapons workbench here. First scrap. how that got favorited. I'm gonna yep, got this short submachine gun. I'm sure we'll get a mod out of that. Hunting rifle. Oh, this pi this pipe rifle only has it's a thirty eight. Let's go ahead and so we'll have our forty five rifle, level ten forty five rifle, and we've still got this level five three oh eight. As we can see, the damage is significant. So let's see what kind of modifying we can do now. Now that we have. This gunsmith perk. Let's see if we get a better grip here. Yes, now, well, no. Darn it. That requires aligned 
requires gunsmith rank 3. Both of these. So we've still got the pistol grip. Let's see if we can do anything more with this. All right, we've got the true receiver, but severe does 48. And the tuned does 48 with faster reload speeds. Let's go for it. Still have the long barrel. See, we have a full stock, but we have some other. Forceful stock, which is better than the full stock. Precise full stock. Let's go with that. And the short scope, I'm kind of liking it. Still no suppressor mod. Now let's go ahead and repair this too while we're at it. Now did we get any... Still just got the calibrated receiver. Long barrel. Standard grip. Standard magazine. All right. Oh, modify repair. Let's go ahead and fix this. And all our other weapons appear to be in good repair. All right. We are now in a position to, let's make sure, check our status. Yeah, we've still got 21 minutes. Ah! And we'll run back to Saul. And that's where we'll begin our next video. Thanks as always for following along. I do appreciate all the comments and please take a moment to like this video or you can even give it a thumbs down. That's okay too. Someone regularly gives all of my videos a single thumbs down. That's okay. But I get hundreds of views but very few likes and even fewer comments. Uh, do want to say I do appreciate those of you that do comment regularly thank you very much it does help drive the algorithm and I think the more people that could see these videos the more subscribers we'll get so as always thanks for following along and we'll pick up in the next episode now that we've located Saul and we will rescue Polly <laughs>